So if I hold up this loop like this, sort of parallel to the direction that the waves are traveling, then the magnetic field is going to be changing through the loop. And because of that, it's going to create uh, an EMF and current, and I can pick that up because I'm tuned to the right frequency here. So I got a fairly strong signal. Woo! It's very strong. But if I rotate the loop like that, well, now the magnetic field is oscillating back and forth, but not changing through the loop itself because it's parallel to the loop. And so in this orientation, I'm going to get a null reading. If I turn it this way, there's a null. But if you turn it 90 degrees, now all the magnetic field is passing through this loop. And so I can hear a maximum here. So this is what Earhart wanted to measure using her loop antenna to detect the repeated N Morse code from the Ontario. She would turn it until she found the null, and then she would know the direction to the ship. Something that's interesting is if I turn it away, we get another null, because again, there's no magnetic flux passing through this loop. 